Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. We will be discussing 15 questions or 15 different topics of general aptitude for the GATE 2023 exam. General aptitude as you all know constitute 15 marks of your GATE paper and these 15 marks can break or make your rank in the examination. So if you have not started practicing general aptitude questions till now then this is the time for you to start and hopefully with this series of 15 questions it will give you the push in the right direction. So let's start. The topic for today is time, speed and distance. Undoubtedly one of the most important topics of quantitative aptitude which has been asked by GATE in the GATE examination frequently over the last few years. So let us look at the question. A ship 156 kilometers away from the sea coast develops a leak which admits to 1 by 3 metric tons of water in 6 and a half minutes. There is a pump in the ship which can throw out 15 metric tons of water in one hour. 68 metric tons would be sufficient to sink the ship. What should be the average speed in kilometers per hour of the ship so that it may just reach the shore as she begins to sink? Right? And the options have been given 14, 15, 16, and 20 kilometers per hour. So pause the video, read the question, and try to attempt it. Give it a good try and only after that play the video and cross check the solution. I don't want you to just simply watch the video till the end. Pick up that pen and paper, give the question a good try and only after then play the solution. So this is an interesting question which combines the concepts of time, speed and distance with time and work. And let us read the question again one line after the other to understand what data has been given and what we need to find out. So we know that there is a ship 156 kilometers away from the sea coast which has developed a leak and this leak is admitting to 1 by 3 metric tons of water in 6 and a half minutes, right? So if I think about the work that is being done by the leak, what is this leak actually doing? It is taking in water uh, in the ship because of the leak water is entering the ship. And if uh, water enters the ship, what is going to happen? The ship is going to sink, right? So this leak, what is the rate at which water is entering the ship because of this leak? Two 1 by 3 metric tons in 6 and a half minutes, right? So this can be written as 2 1 by 3 metric tons in 6 and a half minutes. So if I want to find out the rate, rate means in 1 minute how much metric ton? Then this can be written as 7 upon 3 upon 13 by 2 metric tons per minute or simplifying it is going to be 14 upon 39 metric tons per minute right so every minute 14 upon 39 metric tons of water is entering the ship because of this leak the next information given to us is that there is a pump in the ship which can throw out 15 metric tons of water right so just as the leak is taking in water there is a pump which is going to throw out this water. So what is the rate at which the pump is working? The pump can throw out 15 metric tons, right? 15 metric tons in one hour. One hour means 60 minutes. So I can just simplify this and write 1 upon 4 metric tons per minute. Clear 15 upon 60 or 1 upon 4 metric tons per minute. So the leak is taking in water and the pump is throwing out water. Which of the two? Is the leak going to do more work or the pump? Obviously, the leak is doing more work. Why? Because they are saying that as the ship reaches the shore, she begins to sink. So, eventually the ship is going to sink. That means more water is entering the ship as compared to being thrown out, right? So, what is the effective work being done? If I want to think about that effectively how much water is coming in per minute, that is going to be nothing but 14 upon 39 minus this 1 by 4. If I simplify, this is going to be uh, 156, 56 minus a 39, which is nothing but 17 upon 156 metric tons per minute. Is it clear? So 17 upon 156 metric tons of water is entering every minute as per the leak as well as the pump. If I combine the action of the leak, as well as the pump. What is the next data given to me? 68 metric tons of water. 
68 metric tons of water is sufficient to sink the ship. So the minute 68 metric tons of water enters the ship, the ship is going to sink. So we need to find out in how much time that is going to happen. So I know that in one minute 17 upon 156 metric tons of water is entering. So in how much time is this 68 metric tons going to enter? That's what I want to find out, right? So in one minute or I should say 17 upon 156 metric tons is entering in one minute so in how many minutes is this 68 metric tons going to enter this is what i want to find out right a simple unitary method it is going to be 156 upon 17 into 68 17 into 4 so 156 into 4 minutes this in this much time 68 metric tons of water will enter the ship and the ship will sink in this much time 68 metric tons of water enters and the ship begins to and the ship is going to sink when 68 metric tons of water enters so now what is the question the question is what should be the average speed of the ship so that it just reaches the shore as it begins to sink right so in this much time the ship is going to sink what is the distance that it covers because it is 156 kilometers away from the sea coast. So maybe this is where the sea coast is and this is where the ship is. There is 156 kilometer distance. This is the ship suppose and it covers this 156 kilometers in this much time. In this much time, right? And just as it covers, it is going to sink, right? So I need to find out the speed. Remember, speed needs to be found in kilometers per hour. So let me first convert this into hours. This is simply going to be 156 into 4 by 60 hours or 156 by 15 hours, right? So I have the time with me as 156 by 15 hours. The distance has been given to me as 156 kilometers. All I need to find is the speed, right? We all know speed is distance by time. So 156 upon 156 by 15 is going to give me 15 kilometers per hour. So the final answer is going to be 15 kilometers per hour, which is option number B. Is this clear? So this is a good question. It combines both time, speed and distance as well as time and work. So firstly, we need to find out effectively because of the leak as well as the pump, how much metric tons of water is entering every minute. And we know that 68 metric tons, whenever 68 metric tons of water enter means the ship is going to sink. So in how much time is that 68 metric tons of water entering? And in this time, the ship has to reach the sea coast, which is 156 kilometers away. So we have the distance, we have the time, we simply need to find out the speed. So even though the question looked a little complicated, but eventually it is very simple and works around the very basic principles of time, speed and distance as well as time and work. So here is the practice question for you. Vinod and Prabhu start traveling in the same direction at 8 kilometers per hour and 13 kilometers per hour respectively. After 4 hours, Vinod doubles his speed and Prabhu reduces his speed by 1 km per hour and reach the destination together. How long did the entire journey last? And you need to find out the answer in hours. The options are 5, 6, 9 and 12. Right? So this is the practice question for you. Give it a good try and write down the answers in the comment section below. And uh, we will be giving the correct answer as well as solution in the next 24 hours. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.